Hello everyone, I am going live here on, to talk about an update feature on uh, some of the tools we bring to the market. And so one of the tools I'm going to be talking about today is um, Web Signals and give you guys an update on the latest on Web Signals. What's going on, how are things going, the development features the roadmap, all that stuff, right? And I just wanna apologize in advance that uh, my next door neighbor is probably doing some work in the background. So if you hear some, uh, you know, some noise or something, it's because they're doing some uh, slight, you know, fix up here and there. So I apologize in advance. I didn't know they're gonna be doing it this time. I come late always like around 10 o'clock. Thank you everyone for joining. So, um, yeah, let's, let's, uh, you know, let's talk about the updates that we saw. Uh, I'm going to show you the first update that came this week, which a lot of you guys may have seen or may not have seen is the, uh, let me share my screen quickly. That's my screen. So empty. And then I'm going to log into, uh, this is the new thing that they added the feature called sentiment analysis, okay? So when we are tracking people online, whether it's a brand or it's a personal, right? Um, we, we do have a way to uh, know whether that person talking about, you know, you or your brand is actually talking in a positive or in a negative way. So, and now we're able to identify all the sentiments by looking at the language used within this uh, uh, thing. So, I remember some of you guys suggested live that I put any mention of anyone. So, I, in this case, I chose a very controversial figure, a politician from the U.S., Ilhan Omar, uh, to do the tracking. And so, you can see she has negative positive it's it's almost 50 50 when you look at the negatives and the positives it looks like you know most of them there is negative there's positives and it's it's equal you know it's very interesting to see how even if if these negative and positives were an election that the u.s election basically is 50 50 right so you see, the first thing, there's somebody saying negative about her. So we click on that, right? When, I, when we click on this, we find it here. So Ilhan Omar's campaign paid her husband from nearly $2.8 million. So, turns out, she did a campaign. Of course, she made a lot of donations. She received a lot of donations and everything. And then she paid her husband this company, which was, I think, the way she knows this guy was... Uh, because he was her campaign manager, basically, or consultant, consultant, sorry. And she paid him before she was married to him or whatever. But still, he still, uh, I think, works with the campaign and gets paid $2.8 million. You can see here. The system said that talking here is negative, right? The talking here is uh, negative. The next one, uh, so... This next one, it says positive. It could be actually a negative one, but the system is taking something else. So, socialist is elected position to get rich. Congresswoman funnels donor money to husband. Even socialist millionaires. Probably the things uh, the system at this point fails. I think it it looks like it says uh, a millionaire is a positive thing, but um, yeah. So it looks like the first one it picked up as negative. The second one is positive because. Maybe the language, the way it was presented, uh, the software is detecting this as positive. Although I see that both cases, the uh, the point was clear that both of them. So definitely, that's something to look into. And so the next one is negative. Let's join in to defeat AOC Ilhan Omar. The worst is quote. She has a wild ideas. Uh, she's dreaming of who's she? So some. Uh, <laughs> Someone is saying that that's actually negative, right? So if you look at that person, yeah, uh, they have some uh, uh, negative stuff there. 
to say. So that's uh, other guy. So this guy, uh, <laughs> some guy to falsely claim that he was stealing votes with Ilhan, did it again. It's just a country that all these frauds. So basically what this is doing, what the system is doing, it's taking some of the conversation here, uh, not president, but also stressed in the Senate, and Omar Oisi, another stolen, yeah. <laughs> they are making, this it says this is positive. I don't know what they're trying to, to find out, but the, it all looks, I think, the structure of the language, but the idea was to see which one is positive, which one is negative. I can see that it's picking up some positives as very negative and negatives as positive. So that's something we will find out how it goes next, but nothing to see here. She's a Democrat, Ilhan Omar's campaign paid her, um, farm nearly two point. So of course, because of the language used, right? Because of the language used, it's going to be positive. He's not saying anything negative here. So that makes some sense. Uh, and we'll keep going and see. Uh, so I can see this person said, let's defeat. Um, yeah, so this is the next one that I had. And I'm trying to see anything that's crazy. So this one is negative. Ilhan Omar's paid husband is from nearly 2.8. Husband gave it to Muslim terrorists. Right? Exactly. So, yes. <laughs> yes, you're going to see that. And so you can see that, it, you know, the, the person calls themselves deplorable. Definitely they are, based on what they're saying now. And Ilhan Omar's campaign uh, paid her husband's farm nearly 2.8 million. It's negative. Why? Because they put here terrorists. So the words that are being picked up here, that are being picked up here are negative, right? So the system may not be probably uh, flawless. And of course, this is learning with time. It takes for them to adjust it. But I, the point was that they're adding now something for you to quickly look into and, and, and add this to your inbox. So when something is negative, for example, and I want to respond to it, I can easily uh, do that by uh, taking, I can take notes actually on this, talk about what they're saying, right? This is very important, add notes to this. And I can do, make it like, you know, mark as a star, right? So all those ones with a star. I can uh, put them from here, start. And so it's easy for me to pick up later on anything that's start, right? And I can also reply. This is really cool. So I can actually reply from within the platform. For now, it takes me to post reply edit successfully. So it will, add, it will make me add this to the reply. But if I wanted to reply to this one, it will actually take me to the, to the platform to go and reply. So if I was to like it, I don't want to like it, but it will let me like it too. And um, if I was to, uh, you know, go check out this tweet and see where this is happening, it will take me still there as well. We don't have to look for or search or anything. It's still within the system. So now this is important. Sending an analysis may not be perfect at the beginning, but at least picks up some of the negatives and the positives kind of mixes up depending on how how the person puts it it could be yeah, like, like ironic if somebody is being very very ironic it's going to pick up the irony as positive right <laughs> so definitely there's a lot of things to work through but that's really good feature now the next feature which will not it's not ready yet it's going to be ready probably in the next few hours it's coming it's coming and it's the dashboard so anytime you click here of course right now it's not going to work i warn you that it's not going to work but when I go here, this will be the dashboard right now, which will now come up with all the things. So what they'll have here is the mention statistics, the daily post summary, and it will actually go into the different category, like how many are on Facebook, how many are on YouTube, how many are on this. So the stats are not going to work right now because it's not, they haven't pushed the update yet. I just went there to see. But this is what it's going to look like when it works. I want to show you a video of um, Weber going through uh, the system uh, when it's working on his dashboard because this is not yet released here. I wanted to show you guys a video quickly of how it's gonna work out. So let's play that video and see how it looks like. One second and I'll be with you in a minute. Uh, let's go here. Today I'm going to talk about our latest feature dashboards. 
Now, dashboards is the most awaited feature for web signals till date. Now, let's get right into the dashboards. How you, you can access dashboard from your main uh, screen, you just have to click on this icon right next to your keyword and that will take you to your reporting dashboard for that project. Now, what you can do is you can, by default, all the keywords in that project are selected. Uh, so what you see, the data you see is for the combination of all the projects. But say you want to select a particular keyword, um, you can select that keyword. So like I have selected hrefs and I'll see all the data for hrefs. So what all data is here? First of all, I see the mention stats, which will give me how my mentions are varying over, over a period of time. So as we can see here, you know, these are the various mentions for hrefs on different platforms which we track across the date range. You can select the date range from here and change the date range and everything on the dashboard will change accordingly. Um, so let's, let's just uh, keep the same date range for now or let's maybe, you know, try and see what happens when I change it. Um, I've selected October 1st to 30th. As you can see, the data now is from October 1st to 30th. Um, if you want to see any particular platform, say for example, you only want to see Twitter, you can just click on Twitter and you know the data will refresh and only show Twitter. If you want to see multiple platforms, you can you know click. So if you want to see web and Twitter, you can just enable any of the platforms and the number of mentions, uh, total mentions will also change based on the platforms you select. Next is the sentiments. Um, we just launched sentiments a few days back and we, we've gotten a great response. People are very happy with the kind of sentiments we are getting and we are also fine tuning this based on your feedback. Now, as you can see here, you can, you know, you get uh, the sentiments for a given date range. Um, what were the number of negative and positive sentiments we were able to find. Uh, now this data is not really retrospective because you know we have just started finding sentiments so what will happen is if i actually choose a bigger date range um, to include um, you know the current day uh, like the last few days uh, you'll see a rise in the number of sentiments because we actually started calculating calculating sentiments a few days back um, so this is sentiments and then the most important and the feature which i love the most is influencers now in, in influencers, we have arranged the influencers on each one of the platforms in two different. So let me stop it there, guys. Um, so the dashboard question, somebody asked that question, right? Uh, there is um, the, um, the dashboard will be ready in the next 24 hours to 48 hours. They are working on it, they're updating it but it's already live on some accounts. That's why in his account, it's live already. So what you saw was a live data. That's the question somebody asked. The next feature, which is actually gonna be the most amazing feature is when people mention across the internet, right? There will be a mention that will come from somebody, like from Twitter. And whoever's tweeting this negatively or positively about your brand or personality may have no influence basically they have like five people following them 10 people following them so you don't worry about those people the people you worry about are the people who have a lot of followers and who can damage your brand your reputation very very fast right so that's the people you really don't want to mess with and as soon as you see what the next feature is going to do is take all the mentions you know categorize them into who it's coming from and also bring all the data, how many followers they have, how many tweet, uh, tweets they have, how many blah, blah, all the stuff, like influencers. Now, if you have a competition and you know that somebody with a big uh, name is promoting, because you also use this for spying on your competition, um, then definitely you need to go after uh, those people and say, hey, I see you promoting these guys. We have an amazing, amazing feature uh, you know, amazing features compared to the platform, compared to the product, compared to the system. I want you to also try this, right? And it's like in real time, if they hire someone today, and I don't know who they're hiring, like if, if, it's a, if it's, let's say ClickFunnels, I'm trying to compete with. If ClickFunnels today is being promoted by someone else with a lot of followers and just happened today for the first time, 
I know in real time, that's the person they just paid them or whatever. I can go contact them and do the same because they did a lot of research for me. They probably know the reason why they're doing that. So I not just do what they did. So let's see how this is actually going to look like. Uh, let's go from there. Uh, resume the video. That's how it works. Alrighty. Ways by followers or by mentions. So, for example, you know, in, uh, for HRFs, we can see the influencer with the most number of followers who has talked about HRFs is Moz, then Neil, then Growth Hackers. So, you know, 560k to 23k, once 84k. So, this is arranged in descending order of number of followers. And then, if you want to see the post, the exact post which those people have made, you can just click on it. And you'll see the posts which have been made by Moz in this case, um, which have mentioned mentioned hrefs. Uh, let's go back, and uh, you know if you click on the number of mentions, uh, you'll get to see the people who have mentioned, uh, you know that particular keyword the most number of time. Like hyper hyper export tweet, um, you know they've mentioned hrefs 51 times, which is quite strange uh, because they have zero followers. But yeah, it you know that's how you can see and figure out who are the people who are talking about your competitors the most, and just maybe you know build a relationship with them, and uh, you know engage with them more, and you know get them to promote yourself as well. Similarly for Reddit, Instagram, and web and news. Now for web and news, I would like to point out that you know we have uh, not just shown you uh, who are the best websites who are talking about you. We have also ranked those websites by the number of ranking keywords uh, so this data is powered by rank watch okay all righty um there we go so i'm gonna stop there quickly and to switch to the video so the other feature right that feature that you just got you just saw is that it's also if there's a website talking about you it's also going to rank the website now that's going to be crazy killer feature right because the websites that have the most traffic right in terms of the ranking on google and everything and it's what you want to reach out to and if you know your competition is being promoted by a third party software i mean a third party website not software website then that feature is also going to be really really good and again why are these people able to do all this within a very short time because they have a team of 200 people in general in their company, one of their products everybody knows is uh, RankWatch, and RankWatch is a, it's an SEO tool, and it does a lot of things. So the data is already ready for them. They know which website is ranking the most on the internet, and which one is second, which one is third. And so when people mention that name, they're able to bring and connect all this information, put this data together. The most important thing today to mine. To make money from is not anything else but data data right if you the person who has the most data with the most knowledge and understanding of how the data works of course that person knows it so that's the context they own rank watch and therefore they're able to do this of course by integrating the system to talk to each other and so they they're doing this for a reason there is a reason behind it these guys do not develop a software unless their company uses it and of course we're talking about a huge company that has a lot of a lot of uh, customers right so this is good let's uh, continue where we have you know data of almost uh, the entire web um, each keyword in the top 100 results so we have you know kind of merged that data with this um, to show you these so you can arrange this by again ranking keywords and number of mentions um, very soon, you'll also have a word cloud, hashtag cloud, and a language breakup. Um, and we are also working on a scroll here to show you more results uh, in the number of influencers rather than, you know, just the top five. Uh, so this is the dashboard. Yeah, so this is the dashboard feature. And so, yes, um, I think that's uh, pretty comprehensive. It's going to... Uh, to have all that information uh, well done for you. So the most important thing is that now they did the sentiment analysis. I don't see it being perfect. Of course, there's room for improvements. Once they introduce something, 
it takes a week or two to educate and teach the artificial intelligence behind all of this and so this is very important and then the next thing because they have to use you know sentiment analysis is very tricky it's it's like reading the so they have like uh, um, they're scanning the, the entire paragraph trying to see what's positive and what's negative a human being can tell when there is irony in a statement so when there is uh, somebody says something to mean something else you know uh, so they are saying Ilhan Omar is getting rich and she paid her husband 2.8 million dollars of course that's a very positive statement right but the truth is it's it's a negative statement because they're accusing her of stealing money and all that stuff so um, I have been playing with the software right a lot of you guys and I'm gonna continue with the course of course I started something to work with this the dashboard will be released in the next 48 hours I think um, it's not ready that's why it's going this way because it's not ready yet but the uh, the negative and the positives are all uh, thing the positive the negative thing is there it may not be perfect at the beginning but at least we will be able to get some information sooner so let's look here at Facebook if there's anything Facebook uh, yeah this looks like you know this looks like it's positive statement about her I think so that's what they're saying bold transformative change is in reach that's actually herself so that's her stuff um, what else do we have here that, that is a lot of it so Al Jazeera is actually it's a news organization so definitely saying things in positive congressional Democrats Nancy Pelosi Pelosi Elizabeth Warren Ilhan Omar and former Secretary of State Hillary Clinton react to Joe Biden's projected win so it's a history making ticket she said it and yeah that's that's uh, and a new page of america hillary clinton today marks the you know this is this is all the stuff i'm just tracking the uh, you know so some of them it doesn't get it yet because it's unknown so it wouldn't know but yeah the software is getting a lot better so we started with uh, you know it not knowing a lot of things so we were able to add LinkedIn a lot of you guys know this now it's on LinkedIn it's there uh, so actually take out the Facebook part you should be able to see only LinkedIn mentions so basically we're able to separate the mentions and again when you're adding a keyword this is the advantage with this if you don't want to waste your time with anything else adding a new project uh, means I just want to add um, yeah, I just want to add, let's say, uh, key, I think I added a key, uh, digital thing last time, uh, but I just want to show you guys how this is going to work. So let's say uh, digital thing, which is, all right. And then I'm going to add the keyword digital thing and save. First of all, enter. I don't know why people don't get that part. And then we go to advanced and I just want to hear only let's say from one source now the idea of this is you don't want to uh, track all platforms if you don't want to if you don't want radio or TV or anything you don't want to deal with it if you just want to track podcasts you can go ahead and do it only thing in the news go ahead and do it right but here let's say I just want to do it only on Facebook that's it I don't care about any other platform I just want to track who says anything about digital thing on Facebook and then I'm going to save it. And what it's going to do is in real time, <clears throat> it's going to produce anybody who said anything about, uh, of course, we had few few keywords in the past, so 1,290 mentions, and these are all the people saying something about, uh, yes, all the mentions 10 days ago, 5 days ago, 15 days ago. So some of this data is actually not new. It's something that's already stored because we had the keyword in there. But what it's going to do also, it's going to go back and fetch. So every 15 minutes, you should be able to see new incoming data, right? Some of the keywords, if they have not existed, yeah. So some, I see some negative stuff. Uh, <laughs> the negative stuff here that's coming is actually saying uh, lifetime access to this. And then it goes, what happened? Um, yeah it's just saying negative I don't know why it's negative but some of the stuff are not are not right uh, and I think from here don't I don't no idea why they have it like that okay 
Okay, perfect. Um, let's go back here and we will see the next thing. Okay, any other questions? I'm getting some questions. Let me answer them. Any questions, guys? That's right. Any questions? Okay, so somebody said, uh, generally saying, this looks great. Yeah, that's right. It's looking great, of course. If you know, you know, the influencers, negative, positive, may not be perfect from what I see right now. I like to be straightforward and honest about things. Um, yeah, well, they're going to look into it and find out what's going on. Now, the influence features is also going to be a killer. That's right. Uh, dashboard, not yet. The dashboard will be ready within the next uh, 48 hours. These are the main questions that I'm getting here. Uh, any other questions? Yeah, so I'm going to do a continuation of what I did, which was to set up the website. I, I'm, I get busy during the week. It's crazy. Like, it's, it's really, really crazy. I can only come here in the afternoons, in the evenings, after hours. So we are going to do the next few sections once the dashboard is ready of course it's going to be ready in the next 48 hours the plan is that then i need to get the reports right to be able to export that report analyze it into positive and negative and be able to send this you know to the um, clients and say hey this is what they're saying about you and i don't think it's a good idea to not listen and hear what they're saying so you have an idea of what's positive, what's negative, who's talking about you, all that information. So, yeah, the guy, uh, the guy who's watching that girl, all her information, uh, which is he's a husband right now. He got paid two point eight million dollars for campaign, campaign uh, consulting. It's good money, right? So, <laughs> exactly. Date and country, wise filters. That's a good question. Sh Shahab Rabani Malik, you're asking a good question. So date and cut. So these are next steps. The idea is this. The deal is going to stay here for the next 10 days, I think. Um, so we still have the white label, the custom domain, um, the reporting, you know, export the report and send that report there, the shareable report, especially. Um, all those ones are not there yet, they're not live. So our plan is to uh, make sure all these features are implemented while the deal is still here. Because uh, when you launch a product, most of the time, they don't realize it's not, it's not that complete unless they get feedback. And because of the feedback, they are able to build everything. So people are saying, oh, it's not just about the mention, you know? We wanna see metrics, we wanna see the dashboard. And then people are like, what about the sentiments? I don't want to waste time reading through everything. I just want to deal with the negative ones, right? So that's why they built this one too. And then somebody said, like, yes, you're saying language. Yeah. So if you actually look at the dashboard, they're going to have that. Date, country-wise also, language filters, all that stuff will be there in, the, in there. And so, yes, if you look at, at the top of this video, you should be able to see the, uh, the date filters. Uh, from what time to what time did the mention happen, right? And then from... Uh, yeah, from what time to what time did the mention happen? Was it um, recent? Was it an old mention? You don't want to waste time with things that happened like one year ago. You want to make sure that you're on top of the new mentions. So again, the tool helps you track your branding. It helps you track your competition, where they're spending money, who's talking about them, or what are the sentiments for them too. Like if you see something negative being said about them, right? And you really want to learn the lessons without you going through everything that they're doing. So it's a it's, it's very interesting feature, I would say. It's really good feature. So, yeah, we make sure if there's a feedback on the dashboard, it will all be implemented. Now, we have uh, the number of coupons we have for sale are not unlimited for sure. We will try to keep the deal for some time uh, and say about 10 more days. It was supposed to actually end this week, but because they didn't implement all the features, we feel like they should do that when the deal is here. So that by the time, because I don't like working with too many roadmaps. If it's a roadmap, it's gonna be, you know, few things here and there. No more than 60 days, we wanna make sure everything's done, right? 
yes, yes, Shihab. Yes, you turned me what that meant. I remember that. Polian expressions. Yes, so we, uh, we, I think that's coming as well. This is what you say, Polian expressions. Let me actually read that again because you sent me, I know that you sent me what it meant. Polian expressions. Could be the sentiment analysis, man. Could they be related? Uh, so it's a logical statement that's either true or false. Compare data of type as long as both of the person have the same basic data type. You can test to see if it's equal to greater than or less than data. So that is uh, Polian expression. Um, you know what? Let me go here. What the other guy said about last time. The ultimate guide to Polian expressions. I know that. I remember that. You're right. You talk about this feature before. His, okay. What is the advanced and effective way? Uh, effective way to work with almost all search engines. It allows users to combine keyword with Polian and or and not. Oh, okay. That makes sense. And find exactly what you're looking for. With Polyanex, you can configure more specific queries, create multiple combinations, modify existing requests, and do many other crazy things that are not available in simpler mode. Moreover, you can, I can tell you, I forwarded that. And or near in, right? So with the keyword, for example, you will say, uh, you know what, I'm pretty sure, yes. I'm pretty sure you can definitely do something like that uh, in a regular way. Um, but if it's a formula, I don't know why we'll need a formula if, if it can do it directly. So let me check. Um, let me actually show you something. You know what? One thing about this tool is you can actually put a sentence and it will track that sentence for you. So for example, one of it is that if you have a website, right? You can, you can copy your own blog, the entire blog. <laughs> paste it into the system as a keyword. And you know what it's gonna do? It's gonna scan the internet, and if there's anyone who copied your your copy, it will it will catch it. So I'm pretty sure and or if all that should be um, should be able should be easy to do. Uh, especially if you know um, you know what let me try this. Uh, people do this all the time. Let's try this, okay? Um I'm going to change my, uh, I'm going to use this. Let me see what this is going to do. So I'm going to change this to the other side. Let's, let's go here. Uh, so let's add a project, right? So I know that what you're saying, like using, using definitely that's a formula, but what about if I say a uh, private, that's, that's my field, by the way, private school. I don't know why I like this in Toronto something like this uh, and then what I'm gonna do is copy that and paste here as a keyword the entire thing and R and enter and advanced I could just go and use let's say you know what I don't care I'm gonna look for all of them save it and guess what's gonna happen? It will go back. Yeah. So it's gonna crawl the internet for private schools, private school in Toronto. And it could be it could be a parent asking about private school. So I'm gonna go to like Twitter, Facebook. This is to get actually leads. That's another use case for it. So the idea is if there's a parent which will say like, which is the best school, which is the best private school in Toronto, then I know they're looking for a private school. So yeah, that, that will work. It's gonna take a minute or two, I think, uh, let me see. Uh, yeah, it had a return, see? Private school, 113 mentions. So, students of the private school in Toronto enjoy tactics, it's closed, hmm, two days ago. So what is that saying? Wow, private schools in Toronto showcase responsibility. So that looks like some news website. Uh, this is a school I know, and they are all out there. So this is saying, with this central location, the heart of Toronto, the students, staff, and families. So I know this is school, that's private school, right? Mm -hmm. I can see that. And if you look at the news, 
this is St. Michael's new that was on the news for really bad stuff. Um, yeah, it could be there. Then there is um, Facebook, any mention within Facebook? Private school in Toronto, Ontario. Crawford Adventist Academy. See, they are, uh, they are advertising themselves, right? If I go to Twitter, I can go check it out and see who's talking about private schools on Twitter, right? And so, when if you can put a whole keyword like this, and um, it's possible but definitely i know what you're saying putting formulas to to create variations and if or and um, yeah you can definitely do that another question let me see if there's any question yeah see private school in toronto private school in toronto so it's it's all all these different youtube videos and i can look at what the other private schools in the area are talking about right this is important yeah exactly so this is yeah this is what's happening uh, and i can i can look at linkedin how many of them are talking about linkedin on linkedin and it it, it could put a whole sentence on this uh, if I actually go and put an entire keyword, you can definitely do that, yeah. And the other, the other tools are limited by one keyword. That's why they do an if, as, so, just to try to add other things as well. Uh, so hopefully, I can also share that feedback with them and see what they say. Another question? Another question? Well, let me see. I hear a question coming in. Yeah, what if the article has private word in first paragraph? School in fourth and Toronto in last. It will bring it up, but it will be wrong mention. It shouldn't, it should be private school near uh, five. Means they should be within five words. Uh, okay, that, that's also a good idea. I can definitely uh, forward that information to them and see if that's something that yeah, once we establish this one, we can go for the fancy stuff, right? That makes uh, that makes total sense. Any other question? Uh, that's that's very good. So Shab Shahab, what I'm gonna do is after after this uh, live, why don't we actually send that? Uh, make you know, reach out to me. We'll create a private um, uh, Facebook you know uh, messenger uh, group between you, I, and the developers, so that. Everything that you want covered, it's going to be covered. So I think it's going to be really good for the platform. All these good features that are implemented, we take it as serious feedback and we really want it to work. So my goal is to see this tool become like the number one tool out there, right? So, and I'm of course using it. It's a lot of uh, invested time, always going back and forth. It's not easy. It's a lot of work. Okay, another question. Those are good questions. The funny thing is, I don't even know where everybody is joining me from. Some people are joining from uh, Facebook uh, group, Facebook profile, Facebook, uh, YouTube, everywhere. This is good. And then all the questions are coming to one place. Uh, yeah. Okay, so that's, that's true. Um, proper keyword proper keyword proper settings to avoid strong mentions with the use of formula very good so that we save the mentions right that that makes a lot of sense and and that's a feature i would like to see any other question so the deal if you are watching on facebook it's up here and um, and then if you're not if you're on youtube it's down below the video go ahead this is this is a live video by the way so i don't like doing you know too much recorded stuff I like to go live and share my, uh, my, my, my presentations like that. So, um, again, there's another tool called Hoku. <laughs> Hoku is also live just so you don't have to forget. What it does is way more than thing. You know, let me, let, me, let me show you what it does quickly also because this could be another additional few minutes we could use towards that. Um, what Hoku does, and I can show you here. If I had a website, let me let me let me let me just go around here. If I had a website like this, right? 
this is let's say my website right and people come on this website there is a lot of things I need to know so like when people come what is it that they go out of these deals which one are they cl clicking the most right so when people click on this one it's sending them somewhere and what do they like this is just some sample page it's nothing special it's just some random page I'm playing with okay let's say these are the deals I, that we have so what it's going to do is it's going to track all the movement of your of your cursor like the mouse is the person did it did they hit buy then what happened how many of them hit buy and what happened to those people where did they go that's one use case so that's basically knowing everybody and what they're doing right and um, it's basically recording the customer's journey on your website something that that if, if there's a pop-up coming are they really putting the emails in here are they putting it there if there's an email to be and if you know that that's not working of course you want to change based on the data that you have it's all about the data the next thing that it does and i love this feature actually basically ask for it is to go here and you can see how i can get feedback from this website so let me let me log into hoku guys and i'll show you from the back end and hoku basically looks like this and nothing big deal just log in and i'll show you something very very interesting yeah log in and now i'm logging right so let's play with this this website and see what happens so let's say i want this is my website or let's say this is a client website that i just finished and I want the client to give me a feedback based on the feedback tool. So on this side, I'll just take this one and let's say the client now is going to play with the software. I mean, sorry, play with the system and say, you need to change this one. So let's take this one. And what they'll do is they'll go here and say this, right? This brother, this got to comment right there please change the color of this deal to green right I don't like I don't like the orange color that's it so I'm getting a feedback from the client because i have this tool on the on my website or on their website basically so that i can get the entire feature that i'm looking for right save it and guess what's gonna happen i'm going to say okay i'm gonna say this is suggestion and i'm say this is live suggestion now this is happening on my website. I don't know who's behind it. I mean, like, I'm not there. So I'm going to send this. As soon as I send this, the system will say it's sent. Thank you for your feedback. Boom, it's gone. It's sent, right? Now, if I go log into my Hoku and I go to my feedback area, guess what's going to happen? I have either this or this, but I'm going to check if it's, hopefully it's this one. And let me see if there's attachments not this one okay let's go back oh hold on hold on suggestion this is life suggestion i'm pretty sure please change it to green i don't like the color so it looks like it looks like i need to update my f let me check if my uh no attachment wait a minute wait a minute wait a minute no, the user did not submit any screenshot or video attachment. Oh, okay. So what did I do? What did I make a mistake? Let's go back. Try this. I'm sure Donald, if you're watching, you can see this. I, I'm trying to do this. Okay, let's do this. Uh, this is a screenshot. I want to put something here. I want to be able to put. Uh, okay, that makes sense. I want to put some annotation. Actually, I'll put some annotation. Say this is. 
Oh, okay. Oh, that's why I need to do this. Okay, let's go here, check. So I can annotate. It shows that my annotations are all here. And let me see my comments are here. This is not working. I haven't updated, by the way, my plugin. So it could be that he made some changes. And of course, if this is not working, we still have to do it. So I can see this is, ah, now my sense. Now that makes sense. Okay. Okay, I'll, I'll need to put an email here. I need to add my suggestion here. Say this is life. Okay, hopefully that's what I'm doing now. Send, okay, send. Go to Hoku. And if that feature comes up, if it's not, then I'll do it. I'll, I'll go back and check what's going on. Mm, the second one. So could be that because of my non-updated plugin. Uh, but for sure, this is not showing the screenshots that I sent, but it's supposed to show those screenshots. Uh, and sometimes it could be because of the, uh, the plugin itself that I have on my website. You know what? Let me let me double check. Why not? Uh, could be because of that. If I'm using a plugin, then it could be because of that. But I, I can definitely do that right now. I am good with that stuff. Luckily, I am going to see what the plugin looks like. How cool is here? So let's go back and paste a new script. So this was the uh, feedback feature. Okay, and I can edit. Email notification, appearance. So you can actually add labels, appearance, right? Uh, thank you, this is what you can put. You can customize the image. Tell us about the experience, the appearance will come different colors. So you have like blue, red, whatever you want, right? Green, and it will look like basic on. Remove branding on, uh, conditional on. Maybe my plan expired, is that why? So then I save all this. You know what, let me just use a new campaign. Uh, call it test live. Save. Mm -hmm. No, this is to copy the software. This is to, to get a feedback, event analytics tracking. Wait a minute, tracking website funnels analytics. This is personalization service. So question was, settings okay these are not showing me okay let's go back here quickly i'm gonna go back to the setting i don't know what i'm doing wrong but uh this is the account this is the website i'm adding this first project get the code yeah okay copy the clipboard i'm pretty sure he did uh, some yeah this is the wordpress copy this and verification and installation verify and installation i'll do that so https Digital think. Dot LTD. Verify. Okay, I'll ve I'll do the verification after. But let's just copy the script here, and see if my script is out of order. Okay, this is what we have. There we go. Save it. And when I go here. It should allow me to do all of that. Yeah, another thing could be that my, um, my, these are on. So sometimes that, that could be the one stopping it. I have the, uh, anything plugging, uh, something stopping the, so let's go back, check if the installation works here and verify the installation. And there we go. Somebody has some questions or something to tell me, which is good. Uh, so verified, verified means the feature, the thing is here. Okay. Let's go back. Oh, he took out the video. What happened here? Now my video doesn't show up. <laughs> okay. 
because I'm using a trial account. That makes some sense. It's okay. Uh, let's test. Now test, suggestion, send, test live, and send. Yeah, that make that could make a lot of sense. Let's go back to Hoku. Dashboard. Oh, wait, I'm hearing a lot of conversation. Is it because, is it because I'm not showing my screen? Okay, let's just continue those uh, some other stuff. And so I'm just going on, I'm going ahead with this, okay? Uh, now I'm gonna go back to feedback and see my new one show response one two three hold on one two three nothing showing oh trial will be expiring so my trial expired one two three so definitely something that looks like it's having a problem and i don't know let me ask uh I'm going to look at the developer to look into this because that what I know is that when I click on this, it was showing me uh, that everything was good. And when I click on this, I was able to see every single thing here with the comments and what the people were saying and all that stuff. And I could actually reply from here and people are able to get the, uh, the team and I can uh, put it in progress and the review resolved like everything. It's like, uh, you know, having uh, this tool on any website that needs feedback, right? So that works. I'm gonna come back and find out exactly what's happening here. So thank you guys. Appreciate your time for watching all this. And we're gonna invite uh, a local guy to go on and look into these issues. Again, guys, um, you know, playing with software, it's not a joke, it's always a lot of work coding and programming and making it work across hundreds of websites and we're talking about a javascript that you just place in another website expecting that the security features the trees the hundreds of different um you know different servers around the world uh working well with that script right that's the assumption but sometimes it may not work so i'm pretty sure i tested it i tested it 100 times and it was working fine. The video feature was working fine. They, maybe because my account is restricted because I'm using a trial account. So I should be getting the real uh, agency account right now. And if that's the reason, then definitely I'll come back and explain again. If there is any bugs or anything, they'll fix it. And we're more than willing to uh, make sure that we do not have a substandard uh, software here. Everything we bring is premium the good software and and it does a lot of features so one of the features was just the, the feedback today and to be honest that's that's amazing feature like i like it it does both video uh text images all that stuff so we'll we'll we'll, we'll work with that all right thank you guys for joining we'll i'll see you soon thank you